So about vocal cord dysfunction, the most shocking point is that it can perfectly mimic a life-threatening asthma attack, leading to aggressive and completely ineffective emergency treatment, sometimes even culminating in the patients being intubated for a condition that could have been resolved with a simple, simple breathing exercise. So a patient in the midst of this vocal cord dysfunction episode presents with acute shortness of breath, a sense of suffocation, and an audible high-pitched sound. In the cause of an emergency room, it's, that is almost universally interpreted as a severe asthma attack, Mustatus asthmaticus. So the medical team initiates the standard protocol back to back nebulizers, uh, intravenous steroids, magnesium, and even epinephrine. The shocking part is that none of it works. So this beautiful story doesn't work. So the patient continues to struggle for breath because the problem isn't their lungs, bronchoconstriction. It's their throat. The vocal cords are paradoxically closing during inhalation. Uh, the ultimate shocking event occurs when the team, believing the asthma is refractory, decides to intubate. And the moment the patient is sedated and paralyzed for the procedure, the vocal, cord, vocal cords relax, the obstruction vanishes, and the endotracheal tube passes with ease, leaving the doctors bewildered. It demonstrates how the best possible evidence-based treatment for one condition is utterly useless for, it, for its perfect mimic. It's humbling lesson in the importance of an acute and accurate diagnosis. The key to differentiating them is often a simple physical exam finding. So this dysfunction typically causes inspiratory stridor, so loudest over neck larynx, where asthma causes expiratory wheezing, loudest over the chest. A misinterpretation of this sound can lead to cascade of error, errors. So diagnosis is the cure. <laughs> the contrast is treatment is uh, staggering. A severe dysfunction episode that might lead to intubation can often be broken uh, in a cooperative patient with specific breathing techniques like pursed lip breathing or panting taught, uh, taught by a new speech therapist, logopedic. The correct diagnosis is the most powerful therapy in this case. Mm -hmm.